I agree with what these guys said about the supporting economic development office <clears throat> in terms of um, getting greater uh, industrial development in town. But I'm going to give you a specific example of, of what we can do. This was a great question. In my example is um, it's a combo answer. It's a planning and zoning slash town council answer because I was a planning and zoning commission for the last eight years. Specifically, what you need to do, because we are not the only squirrel trying to get it up. We are competing with communities all around us and we're all aggressive trying to get the same businesses in our towns. Because other communities, they face the same problem that we do with their tax base being supported too much by residential tax dollars versus business dollars. So what do you do specifically? You have as much flexibility in your industrial zoning as possible. <coughs> because you, you've got to open up your zones to support all types of businesses. The Planning Zoning Commission just did that. We've taken great strides in that direction. We've made our zoning oh boy, three seconds, very flexible. On top of that, you need to look at certain, I'll give you a very specific example. At the end of West Queen Street, the bottom of West Queen Street, you know where that is? There's a road called the Apollo Drive. The land at the end of that road is zoned for residential use, and it should not be. It should be industrial use, and the town should go in there and bring in some roads and bring in some crucial infrastructure to support that development and that industrial development. Do I have any more time? I'm done. Great question.